What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with another Cure Thursday, and we're returning to 17 Seconds 1980. Thank you to Philip for sharing, and to Sophia, who pointed out that the next track is the first track on side B, and it's a short interlude, not unlike the opening track of the album. So I'm going to listen to that in conjunction with A Forest, a tune a couple people have mentioned before, so seems like that one might be a favorite. In any case, the last track on side A of the record is three. It's a quantity, it's a number of discrete, countable entities, so it leaves the door wide open for possibilities, but ultimately it does make me think about three people, which, depending on the circumstances, can be a complicated dynamic. Two people, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, whether that be a conversation, a relationship, an argument. But if there's three people, there's three different perspectives, which changes the calculus of any given situation, so not sure what to expect, but I am curious. Let's hear it. This is The Cure. The track is three, and it's the last track on the first side of their 1980 album, 17 Seconds. Crazy tune overall. Definitely experimental, abstract. I do wonder whether those some of those chords were tritones. I'm not familiar, or I'm not immediately knowledgeable when it comes to the actual sonic quality of that, but I know it's a type of chord that in the Middle Ages was frowned upon because it was seen as being like the devil's music. It was considered unpleasant because it was dissonant and it, it sounded not as consonant and pleasant as other like full chords. I'm not sure of the exact nomenclature or descriptive quality I'm looking for here, but yeah, three made me think that maybe it was uh, full of musical notes and chords that are deliberately wicked or dissonant sounding because it did have a dark twisted sort of feeling as it played out. It did still, though, essentially kick into a proper song idiom. At first it was very abstract, then the regular percussive rhythm comes in. 
I'm going to go back on what I said. I was thinking maybe it was like a spoken sample vocal that was being played as if it was way off on a radio somewhere. But I do think I heard the word three there. Now that doesn't mean it's not a sample, but I wonder if there were in fact vocals for this track, but then they were mixed down, filters put on them or otherwise distorted in a way that they were just one sonic element in this very abstract amalgamation of sound. Definitely a transitional piece, an interlude, which again, if it's the final track on side A, and the record started with one, and the flip side is going to feature another one to begin, it feels like this is a concept record in the sense of it being a sonic journey with particular features rather than just a collection of songs put in a given order. So yeah, again, early in their career, but already trying to make an album more than just a list of songs and instead an experience to go through. So yeah, wicked, dark, unusual, abstract, non-standard, non-conforming, I suppose. The little bit about little bit I know about The Cure suggests that maybe that's the path they were trying to walk, so an interesting one, an unusual one. Do let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.